Yoo-hoo! Look at this beautiful morning. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but where to say What's going on doggies? Welcome back to another video. And good morning. What a beautiful morning it is today. Alright, so lately I've been doing a lot of fishing, coming home empty-handed, and my chick's like, dude, you suck at fishing. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, but Man, I'm fishing in Bali, and if you know Bali, Bali is extremely fished out, especially if you're land-based. In a boat, it's not too bad, but land-based fishing is pretty hard, so... I'm back out again this morning. I want to take a fish home for my chick, just to prove her wrong. So, we're down here. It's a full moon today, which means big tides. There's a lot of water moving. There's an island out the back here. I'm obviously on the land-based section here. And as that tide starts pushing through, the water really rushes through here, which usually is a good GT spot. I've seen big fish caught here. I obviously haven't caught any big fish here, but I've got mates who have, so we're back. I'm going to give it a red hot crack today. Hopefully I can take my chick something home. All right, let's get out there. The tide should start turning pretty soon. Look at it, it's beautiful. Here we go, first cast. Come on. Do you remember how you held me then? Now you've got me reaching out. just came out of the water and just belted that lure oh my god it's a disgusting annoying long tom mate he absolutely belted that he come flying out of the water wow look at that at least we got something that's called a long tom you have a look at the teeth on that thing, they're gnarly. This guy's actually got a... This guy's actually got a bit of a broken mouth. Should go the whole way to the end there, but um... Yeah, these fish are pretty gnarly. It come flying out of the water with the lure in its mouth. That was a mad take. Anyway, there's a nice beautiful little long tom for the morning. But um, we'll let this guy go. It's not what we're going for, but it's still a lovely fish. All right, mate. See you later. Woo! Off he goes. That was good fun. Oh! Ah no! Wow! Something just absolutely belted that. That's what you do. See, I just changed my lure to a different swimming lure. This lure swims really good. Look at those teeth holes! Must have just missed the hook. Oh well. First little bit of interest. That's always good. Let's go. Yep, here's another thing that absolutely breaks my heart. Bali is such a beautiful place. 
but at the same time there is so much rubbish in the water it's so sad man it's actually really heartbreaking eh Oh my god! Alright guys, a quick update. It is now 11.35, which means I have been fishing... Oh, I'm really shit at math. For five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. I've got one long tom, something with some big teeth that put some holes in this lure, and that is it. I have been non-stop casting for five and a half hours. So it's not due to me not putting in the effort that I'm not getting fish because I'm putting in the effort. My back is killing me. I'm sweating like a pig. Woo! It's hot. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. Maybe another hour. Then I'm going to put a squid jig on and maybe walk around the corner here because it looks kind of squiddy. And uh, yeah. Oh, I need water because it is so hot, man. It's all right, that. This is living. I love this shit. All right, guys. It is now 12.41. So it has been an hour and 10 minutes since I checked in last. How's this little squid just cruising around? Come on, buddy. Oh, he's not interested. Can you see him over there? I would love some fresh squid, actually. Where's he going? He's going out into the current. No, he's having a look at that coconut. No, he does not want this squid jig. That's for sure. Come on. See? Me and this place have a love-hate relationship. Squid right in front of me, they won't even take that squid jig. Ah. Oh my god! Alright guys, so I've been casting the lure now for seven hours, seven and a half hours. We've got that one fish, that one bite, and um, yeah, welcome to land-based fishing in Bali. It's hard times, it's hard going, I tell you what. Oh my god, right now it is so bloody hot. So, I'm gonna put this bigger gear away, get the little rod out, maybe chuck a squid jig on, and hopefully I don't get shamed by my girlfriend going home today. I have no idea what's gonna happen. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good at all. Oh, it's not every day you get a fish, I suppose. Oh, it is so hot oh, oh, oh. I got the squid you gone hopefully we can go get a couple of squid there are oysters everywhere in these little pools so maybe we can even have a little bit of lunch because I've eaten nothing all day maybe Woo! we can get a squid does it look pretty beautiful out here? It's a lot calmer in here. And I did see squid this morning, so along here there might be a couple of squid. I would love to eat some fresh squid for dinner. All right, let's get it. There's no squid here. Um, there's no fish here. But I have the best idea I've had in a very, very long time. So 
Stick around guys, come with me. I've got the best idea. It's gonna be good. All right, we've made it. We're here, we're on location. This jetty right now is actually completely irrelevant the reason I'm here, but I just wanted to come and check out all these fishing boats. So sick. So the real reason we're here, I need to go to what is at the end of this jetty. At the end of this jetty holds lots of treats. Tasty treats. All right guys, here we go. Welcome to the fish market. <laughs> thing I've ever done. <laughs> I'm gonna um, buy a squid or buy a fish or something. No, I'm gonna buy a squid because my chick, she absolutely loves squid. So I'm gonna buy a squid and um, take it home and pretend I caught it. And this is probably the freshest squid that I've found here so far. They say it was caught this morning. So we're gonna purchase this squid. I'm gonna get three of them, take them home and pretend that we caught them. <laughs> All right, thank you, bro. Thank you, Mr. Thanks, Matt. mate. Have a good day, yeah? Okay. So this is definitely something that I am not proud of, but uh, it's just for a bit of fun. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna jump back on the bike and I will see you back at my place. You! All right, guys, I just got home and Mucky's actually not even here. So... We'll dump our stuff here. Oh, we're far out. Squid bag. Well, she's not even home anyway. So I can't really do a little bit of a squid surprise, can we? But we'll call her and see where she's at. Here we go. Hi. Hey, where are you? I'm just at the shops. Can you please get panko crumbs? Ah, a surprise. <laughs> right, oh. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get pasta and the pen curl, yeah? Alright, I just got home and the doors are locked, so I yep. need you to come home. Okay, I'll be there in two minutes. Alright, see you soon. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I'm pretty much locked out until Mucky gets home, so I'm gonna go for a swim, have a shower, and I'll see you guys when she gets back. Pull me enough to come. Oh, the blending. Yo, you're home finally. I can't get in. What am I filming? I'm filming today. Oh, look in that bag. What's in there? No way. Did you actually catch those? Finally, I brought the produce home. Your favourite. So yum. Three squid. Look at that, babe. <laughs> we need to clean them, they're so rank. Was it hard to get them? Yeah, it took me a few hours, but we got there. Look at a beautiful colour. Dinner! Let's do this. That's why I wanted you to get panko crumbs. Oh, yeah. Good <laughs> job. Yes. All right, guys, I am going to clean these squid up and we will see you in the kitchen. Woo! All right, doggies, we're in the kitchen. We're about to cook up this fresh squid. So we're doing it two ways today. I'm doing it in panko breadcrumbs. If you've never had panko breadcrumbs, get your lips around it. It's so good. 
And Maki is doing hers a different way, a bit of a simple way. How are and you doing? Yours? Way. I'm just gonna sprinkle a fresh lime and salt and chuck it on the pan. So these are our two favorite ways of cooking squid and it is amazing. Let's get into it. All right, for the first easy, simple and tasty way, go dump it in. So good. And for the flavor. Oh yeah, get that lime on there. And all we do for what I'm doing, grab your squid, chuck it in your egg, and then you just dust it in these beautiful panko breadcrumbs, and it'll look something like that. So good. So that is what a dusted panko squid ring looks like. Now you just dump it in the oil. Oh my God. There is something so satisfying about cooking fresh squid that you just caught. So good. And for people who don't eat the tentacles, I don't know what you guys are doing, because that's, that's actually my favorite part, I reckon, is the tentacles. Look at that golden goodness. Panko breadcrumbs all day. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. Looks delicious. Look at that. Perfect golden squid ring. Mm. Oh my god. That's so yum. That is so good. How does this one go? Well, that's good. That's really good. It's really good. Should we tell her? <laughs> tell me what? Should we tell her? Tell me what? I didn't even catch this squid, I bought it. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually not catch it? No, I bought it. From the market. When? Today? <laughs> when you went all the way to the gym by her? Yes. I didn't even catch this squid. Not every video is about catching fish, guys, but it was a sick day. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch it. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Smash that subscribe button, like this video, and um, we will see you in the next one. I can't believe you. <laughs> see you, guys. Much love.